banana peppers. Today we're going to kind of open two crates. We're going to mainly focus on Doki Doki crates, but oh, oh my God, I just did an uncommon unboxing and I'm going to kill this globe by accident. I've already knocked it over once. What a mess. Uh, and then we are going to kind of look at this. I'm not really in the mood to like eat any snacks, but I kind of want to see what is in this month's um, Japan crate because it's card captor Sakura themed. I'm probably not saying that right. Look at my hair. You guys, I literally spent like for my pink makeup tutorial the other day, I wanted to, it's not really crimps. Oh my gosh, Dogman and I just literally took like a two and a half hour long fitness walk and it's so humid here right now that like all of anything that was left is now gone but I put like waves in my hair I don't even really know what it's called um and it's it's just gone now I literally the other night before I did that makeup tutorial like spent I don't know like an hour doing my hair did I already say that Anyway, I spent way too long on it and it's always disappointing when you like spend a really long time like doing a style and then like the humidity. Oh, look, that's all that's left. You can kind of just barely see it. Um, anyway, I'm not really in the mood to like eat snacks. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not really going to be like eating them, but I'm so excited to, oh, my battery is flashing. Let's see how long we can go before I have to change the battery out. It's a challenge. Um... But I do want to see what the drink is in here. I feel like that's why I always love getting Japan Crate because it always generally comes with a drink of some sort. And I started a collection sometime during the middle of last year of Japanese drinks because for some reason I'm just so fascinated with um Japanese drink bottles I don't know why why am I the way that I am but basically now I'm like your grandpa or your uncle that like collects like cans and um bottles and that's me now um I should put them in the kitchen but for some reason I have them like kind of in my office which go figure um so let's see what the snacks look like oh my gosh <gasps> so cute Oh my gosh, these boxes are- wait! Is there not a drink? Um, anyway, these boxes are adorable and I feel like this one is kind of like extra cute because it literally looks like it has like a little comic with it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is adorable. It comes with like an itsy bitsy teeny tiny manga. Isn't that what this style is called? I used to read manga all the time. Um, and I haven't in a, in, in a million years. Is there a drink? Oh, this is the drink. Oh, this is kind of like, I don't know if we're going to keep this packaging, to be honest. It's kind of like not the cutest. So maybe I'll drink it instead, but it's called Mango Lassie Tea. And then at the top, it kind of has this lady that looks slightly like Marie Antoinette, or maybe I'm just pretending that it's Marie Antoinette for my own purposes. Um, but anyway, there's so many cute treats in here. Oh my gosh, this is actually like a little miniature candy making kit. I've had these before. They're like a marshmallow candy. They are so tasty. Um, here we have a foot lollipop. I'll probably kind of keep that one. I do keep like some very weirdly packaged candies as well, which might be kind of gross. That might expire. I don't, cola gum. Oh my gosh, but it feels like a stick of gum. That is very interesting. We have some kind of like, I feel like this is the worst ever. Is this the worst unboxing? Um, it looks like peaches. I don't know, but it feels like hard candies. Um, we have these things which I swear I've seen before. You like pick them up with a little toothpick and I think they're like slightly gummy in texture. And then we just have a lot of these like little packet candies. I think that these are supposed to be like watermelon seeds. We have, oh, I'm so excited to try this one. It's like a shaved ice candy. I'm almost scared to get addicted to any of these things because it's basically impossibly to, impossibly, it's basically impossible to find again. Um, and this looks like I'm going to love it too. It's like cherry flavored stuff because you guys may remember and I have one friend that lives in Orlando and bless her soul. She takes pity on me and she buys these at Epcot for me. I always like PayPal her and then she will like go to Epcot and buy these for me because this is my favorite candy on planet 
er, um, they're like fizzy soda candies. They come in a bunch of different flavors. I know I've already talked about these once or twice, um, but my favorite flavors are the Ramune ones and the cola ones. Oh my gosh. And then you get just a little bit of fizz. It's so delicious. And I'm kind of using them as an incentive to get myself to drink more water, which I don't know if that just like immediately negates all the health benefits from consuming water. But I'll like put one of those hard candies in my mouth and then I'll like drink a whole bottle of water as I suck on one of the candies. So it's kind of like flavoring my water. Ugh. All right, and we have a Doki Doki crate for the month of August. And thank God that August is almost over. I literally like, oh, I'm just like, I'm ready for fall and I don't like summer. We've talked about this before. I'm not even gonna bore you guys with the same statement. Let's see what cute stuff we got this month. Oh my gosh i'm seeing so many adorable things right on the top so um we'll get to this later because it's actually like on the top and the bottom but i'm already excited for it i see what it is and look at these little guys oh my gosh it's little twin star what are cooking chopsticks can anyone please tell me they're like joined at the top i thought that they were actually like chopsticks to help train like I, I see that at epcot too why is my reference for everything in life like epcot just you know any anything i need to explain i just use epcot for reference um but at epcot they have chopsticks like this for people that are like not very good with eating with eating chopsticks um so they're joined together at the top so it's easier to like not mess up i mean you can separate them by just like pulling apart these little rubberized things or clipping them together. But this is the most adorable set of chopsticks I have. Camera, whoa, I, what's going on? It's like this tripod is like, just giving up. It's like no more, stop filming. Um, Anyways, cut me off right in the middle of me talking about chopsticks. Anyway, these are like the cutest chopsticks I've ever seen. I love little twin stars and I also love how they're like lavender and like kind of rubberized at the top and then just so cute. Um, but I, I don't, I guess I'm kind of good with eating chopsticks. I don't know. I can shovel the food in my mouth by using them, which I guess is the most important part of chopsticks really. Um, all right, up next we have, oh my gosh. I love Rilakkuma. I know I've had this discussion on this channel before. I call them pancake bears, but I love Rilakkuma so much. And I love eating cereal. So this is gonna be my new Rilakkuma cereal eating bowl. And I think he also says hungry. Yeah, hungry coffee break. So cute. Rilakkuma feels happy and relaxed every day. I need to be a Rilakkuma. I hope that I can put this in the dishwasher. That would be great. I don't think it tells me. Ah, oh, okay, it says do not microwave or put in the dishwasher. All I had to do was read that. Um, hot and cold foods are safe. They're actually made of bamboo. That is so cool. Eco-friendly bowls are decorated with either Sumiko, Garashi, or Rilakkuma. Sweet! Um, I'm actually glad I got the Rilakkuma one, even though I love the other ones. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's My Melody Straw. How am I so easily amused with, like, bendy shape straws? Um, it, it honestly doesn't take much to make me happy. I feel like I will always have, oh, the time I went to, um, the Bahamas with Benefit, they had bendy straws and it said, like, Benefit. It was so freaking cute. Up next, it looks like something I'm gonna be very excited about because I think that this is supposed to be, yeah, I never say it right. I call him Shibu Inu, but I don't, I don't think that's how you say it, but that's what it is. And it's a soy sauce, soy sauce dish. I literally can't talk, but look at how cool this is. Okay, when you take it out of the box, it looks like it's all just like white, you know? But they show you a picture of what it looks like when you put the sauce inside of the bowl. And then since the like dog part is carved out a little deeper, it like makes him look like a darker brown dog and it like coats him with sauce, that's magic. Okay, mealtime magic, pour sauce in and watch the little Sheba appear before your eyes. These are perfect for holding soy sauce when you're having a sushi or a dumpling night at home. Woo, 
Um, all right. The last thing that's in here, and I love these little guys. Wow, this is like so much bigger than I imagined. Im imagined. Um, we have, I'm not saying it right, I'm sure, a uh, Sumiko Garashi floor mat. And I guess there's a bunch of different designs that you could get but we got this one. Oh my gosh i feel i don't know their names but i know i love this one dog man got me a little plush of him before he's a fried shrimp and i love it he's so tiny and he's like a shrimp tempura right there on top and i also love this one even though i don't really know what the heck he's supposed to be a dinosaur or a sea monster or something. There's a little snail. They're all so adorable. So I'm gonna lay this out flat um, so that it can like kind of become like a flat mat. Wow, um, imagine that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so glad to be like spending some time with y'all and like winding down. It's been like, I hate to say unusual day because it's been a good day, but I went to a Makeup Forever class, which was actually in Houston. They were having like a really small event, but it was a lot of fun. I feel like I learned a lot of new makeup techniques. It was kind of like an instructional thing. They told us about a new foundation that they just came out with, which is supposed to have 24 hours of wear. I think it actually came out like a month or so ago, but it's like a 24 hour matte um foundation but it was just so cool plus i always love honestly when anyone ever remembers that texas is a state like i feel like kind of nobody ever does events here like no brands ever come here nobody ever visits here it's just like nothing comes to texas it's kind of like um shocking because i would at least think that like people would come to austin since we have like ACL which draws a huge crowd every year and I feel like South by Southwest just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger like every single year like when Dogman and I used to go like right when we graduated from high school like I feel, I feel like it's always been kind of like a big thing but like not enormous you know in popularity and I feel like South by Southwest now is just basically like you know an enormous festival like um what is it called like Lollapalooza or something like it's just enormous now. It's it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So now I think we're just going to relax. I might eat Taco Bell like against my better freaking judgment. You guys, It I feel like it's so hard. Like if you haven't ever done this, just don't do it. Like I feel like I just went down such a bad path of like too much caffeine and too much junk food. And like now just trying to like wean myself off of all of the stuff that I just should not eat constantly and overindulge in it's like my body craves it and then almost like I just like like I feel it it's like I don't know I, should I even get into that maybe not but sometimes I just feel like I'm trying to like work on autopilot because it's like your body just craves junk food, but you're like not giving your body what it craves. It's just terrible. Um, don't, don't go down that path. Um, and I guess that's all my insane ramblings that I have for one day, but I hope you guys have had an awesome week so far. Oh, and I'm so glad that so many of you guys loved the up close unboxing that I did for our last mystery unboxing. So I am going to do more of those in the future because I kind of feel like that's a relaxing experience for me to fill it that way and it's also just relaxing I guess for you guys a lot of y'all like that as well I might even do some with like a softer voice because I had several people say that y'all put that in like a nighttime playlist to help you sleep and I totally understand how like sometimes even content that's like not meant for sleeping does help calm you and put put you to sleep like I am like that a hundred percent with like the horror narration channels which you wouldn't think like all these like super scary true life things like would just lull somebody to sleep but they do um so anytime I make one that's gonna be like up close like that in the future I'm just gonna call it like relaxing at the beginning of the title of the video so that you guys know that it's like less of like a vloggy unboxing um and more of like just an up close like relaxing like we're basically I'm just focusing on the item and like doing some extra crinkles with the wrappers like you guys like and then that way we can kind of like keep a balance because I know some of you guys like for me to unbox them like talking about them or just talking about whatever like rambling um 
And I know a lot of you guys like the really long format. Like I had a lot of people requesting me to make the videos longer, even when I do them like up close with the hands. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, we will see where it goes, but I just had so much fun like doing that, um, how I used, like, like how I used to do. Oh, okay, I love you guys and I will see y'all very soon. But until then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I don't feel like I said that in the right order, but hey, you guys get the point. I love y'all so much and I will see y'all very soon. Bye.